Okay guys, very similar test we're going to do. Um, this time I've got the little sewing kit stove. That holds uh, an ounce easy. And it's got a little more space in it uh, because of that uh, different configuration. It wouldn't, I don't think, had I put the felt all the way across like I had done previously, like Chiwiz is doing now. So with this ring, we're going to go ahead and do the same kind of test. Water right now is at 69 degrees, one degree warmer, and two cups in the pot. We light the stove. So that's running. Windscreen on. Pot on the stove. Lid on. Temp start. And this time what I'll do instead of letting it burn out, I'll go ahead and put this little ring that I've got and we'll see uh, see what that does. Okay, we're off and running back in just a minute. Okay guys, uh, looks like we're running pretty similar 205 at 412, 206, 208, 209, here we go. Four thirty-one, two twelve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off and see if I can do this without scorching myself. Put the simmering on, put this back in, and we'll continue to see how long that will simmer after a full boil with that ring. And the ring, just so you can see it again here, looks pretty much like that. That's the stove and the lid. You can see my other video on that sewing kit stove. And uh, so we'll come back in just a few minutes here, or maybe a little longer, and see how long this uh, this simmers. I'm showing a simmer temp. It's still 213. I'll show you what this looks like. It's not a huge rolling boil, but it's still rolling. So we'll let that go and see where she goes back in just a minute. Okay guys, we're uh, 25 minutes and 25 seconds at 2.05. Still getting the simmer going. Now it'll start dropping off here I think. So figure after four and a half minutes at a rolling boil another I go figure 20, 20 plus minutes at a simmer and it's still simmering um, although I think it's starting to wind down now. I'm dropping to uh, bouncing between 203, 204, now 202 201, so it's starting to drop off. Um, but it's still going at 26 minutes. So, you know, you could theoretically, you could definitely cook something like rice or macaroni or something that would, would stay. If you didn't need the full boil to begin with on an ounce of alcohol, you can get a long, long simmer time. Like I said, I was in good conditions in the house. Um, got about an hour and 20 minutes out of an ounce of alcohol in that thing. Um, just on simmer. I kept the ring on the whole time. But um, here with a full boil, 
and uh, coming up on 27 minutes at 202 I mean it's it's still going so you can get a pretty darn good simmer time out of this thing I I'm willing to bet I best I, I bet this will push to 30 minutes or 27 now so probably 30 easy but I'll let it burn out we'll see where it goes okay we're at uh, <clears throat> looks like 197 2815 you still got a little talking going on, but it's starting to starting to pull out. About gone. Twenty-eight and a half minutes. Not bad for a little simmer time for a tiny little converted sewing stove. So there you have it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and forward this over to Chiwiz. Let him know that uh, I'm doing this. Hope that uh, gave you some ideas. Um, I do like this 1.3 with it. I think that the surface area of the pot on the bottom um, encourages a boil quicker. I also think because the water at two cups is very shallow, that also helps. But uh, really rocking times for this thing. It's, uh, I'm very, very impressed and super lightweight. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.